Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Fox News host Sean Hannity just dropped a bomb on live TV. Folks, it's one you're not going to want to miss. Before we get started, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It does really help us out, and it helps our channel continue to grow. Also, and this is important, if you're not watching on YouTube, please do us a favor. Go to youtube.com forward slash explain America and hit the subscribe button. You get a notification every time we go live. And if you're so inclined, please join as a member. You can do it for as little as $1 a month, but there are other subscription tiers as well, and we appreciate it. You think about how much money you give to companies like Netflix or whatever that don't share your values. Subscribe to us. You're going to get some exclusive perks, and you're helping out a conservative cause. So Sean Hannity had some really bad news to lay on President Joe Biden. I almost called him former president because I guess I'm foreshadowing and wishful thinking. But he had some really bad news for Joe Biden, and he said it was something that in all the years he's doing this, he's never seen before. Now, I've been in politics pretty much most of my adult life, and I've never seen it before either. So it's something that the Biden administration and the Biden campaign certainly needs to take notice of. Trump's gaining strength, and Biden, the wind is coming out of his sails. I want to make sure you guys please like, comment, share, and subscribe, but also please watch this video and then give me your comments on this video. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now, as of tonight, this is now a new race. This is now President Trump. He will win the Republican nomination. He will have an opportunity to become the 47th president of the United States. And I believe these are the policies, these are the issues that will define what happens 244 days from now. You know, Sean, a couple of things. Uh, Karl Rove was talking about how the party needs to come together and unify. And, and he brought out his whiteboard and pointed to all these states and all the people voting for Nikki Haley, some of whom said they had a problem with Donald Trump and weren't going to vote for them. I pushed back and said in a general election, which is going to happen very soon, whether he clinches March 12th or March 19th, he's going to be the Republican nominee. It then is a binary choice. And so to your point, you know, how people felt in the Trump administration about the economy, about the border, about world affairs. Do you think that those people voting for Nikki Haley, Republicans, will come home in a general election when it is a binary choice? I, I, I think most of them will, not all of them. But let's go back to one number that really popped to me, and that was 10 percent of 2020 Joe Biden voters. They are saying publicly to pollsters they're going to vote for Donald Trump in 2024. That's how dissatisfied they are. Now, that that presents a challenge to the president. I would say be magnanimous in victory tonight. Um, look, running for president is really hard. Every single person over all the years that, that I've done this, and by the way, I love nights like tonight. Don't you guys love these <laughs> nights? We do. Yeah. I, will, I will be up at 3 o'clock in the morning and still watching our coverage. <laughs> and if it's a replay, I'll be watching that too. Um, and uh, it's just a fascinating process to me. And so I think, yeah, I, I, on the other side of that coin, you can look, I would say, OK, some of the demographics that are part of the, the Democratic coalition, I think some of them will go home. But if Donald Trump could even hold 20 percent of, of that number that he's showing now in an increase, that would be enough to be a significant win come November 5th. Uh, on the other side, I do think that the president has an opportunity to unite the party. And I think the message has to be there are more things that unite us than divide us. We agree on border. We agree on law and order. We agree on energy independence. We, believe, we agree on peace through strength. Uh, we agree that Joe Biden's policies have failed. We believe that the American people deserve better. And maybe the president at some point will reach out to all of his primary opponents and invite them to join him and help him even uh, to the extent that they're willing uh, to, for the sake of the American people, unite around an agenda that will help our economy, help America on the world stage, bring us more prosperity, 
bring peace around the world and and also put America safe. And please secure our borders. Please get our budget under control. We cannot spend like this and we cannot have tens of thousands of people from China, Russia, Iran, Syria, Egypt and Afghanistan coming into this country without being vetted. That is the biggest national security threat I think we've ever faced. Sean, just real quickly, you know, if as it clearly looks right now, Donald Trump becomes the nominee.